You have clothes to wear. You have food to eat. You may be able to even choose what you want to eat. You may have a job and transportation. You have a place to stay. In general, your basic needs are met. But when you get sick, when a problem arises, or when God allows something bad to come upon your life, even though your basic needs are met, even though you are not really suffering, but when God allows something bad to come upon your life, you get really depressed. You get really down. You get angry with God as if he is doing you wrong because he allowed something bad into your life. So you are not looking at the good things that are happening to you. You are just focusing on that bad thing that happened to you all these years. Your basic needs were met. Everything was going fine. You are happy with God when times are good. You are willing to read your Bible, perhaps. You are willing to go to church. You are willing to praise God, so on and so on. But when he allows something bad into your life, you point the finger at God. you get very, very angry at God as if he is this tyrant or this rude or mean God. Think about something. When you act like that, and let me get straight to the point, and I am not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. I am not trying to make anyone mad. There are plenty of people who teach in a very pleasant way, speaking about happy things and stuff like that. I don't really do that. I don't do that. There are enough people preaching about happy things. But when you act like that, when God is taking care of your basic needs, but when he allows something bad into your life and you get angry with him and all this stuff here, what you are acting like, like an unappreciative child, a kid, like uh, a spoiled brat, if you think about it. How would you like being friends with someone, let's say when your life is going great, then this particular friend is with you Everything is fine. They are laughing with you. They are spending time with you. And you see this person as a really good friend. But when times get rough, what happens? Your friend is not around. They are somewhere else. They are not willing 
to be around you as much or they are not or they have no interest in being your friend when times get rough. How would you like having a friend like that? Only with you when times are good, but when times are bad, they go their own way. How would you like that? I know for myself, <laughs> if a person wants to be that way, hey, I don't want a friend like that. I want that person to stay away from me if they are two-sided or whatever you call it. Well, isn't that the way that many people or many of us, many people treat God? When times are good, you are willing to pray more, read your Bible more, testify about the goodness of God. <laughs> but when times are bad, you are right back into sin. How crazy is that? Do you really appreciate what God is doing for you? Or do you only appreciate God when times are only good? So when God tests you or allow bad things to happen in your life, now all of a sudden, God is not good anymore. But how can he be good when he is allowing great things to happen to you, but he is no longer good when a minor thing is happening to you, testing you out? There is a certain word that I wanted to use, but I can't think of it. My Lord, bring it to my mind. But how does that sound, though? If you would not want a friend to be that way to you, when times are good, they are with you, but when times are bad, they separate from you. If you would not like that, imagine how God feels about that. Have you thought about that? This is something to think about. God bless.